So Maria, how would you describe your fan club in three words? My fan club? They're great people. Um, I really... Great people. Great people. Fans. <laughs> Is there something you would wish from us or your fans? No, I, I've gotten to a place where it seems like the fan club... Um, they're more like friends because I feel like I've known them for a really long time and they've followed my career for a long time. So um, just keep doing what you're doing and you're, you seem very interested in my life and I like it. At Skavlan, you talked about how your songs were written in your dreams and other artists were singing them. What other artists than Maria La Marit Larsen were singing these and would you like to collaborate with any of them sometime? <laughs> no, uh, I don't remember. They were my dreams. I'm sorry. that it, it, It's not a very interesting answer, but uh, Marit is the only one that I remember. Um, I don't really want to co collaborate with anyone. I, I'm a little bit done with that whole, whole kind of thing. Um, what I would like though is that if I do like befriend a, an artist and it happens naturally, that's a cool, that's when it, it becomes a cool collaboration. It's because it actually happened because you wanted to. So no, I don't want to collaborate with anyone, just myself. You started your career quite early when releasing My Lullaby in 2002. This year you are releasing your seventh album, Growing Pains. What advice would 2015 Maria give 2002 Maria? Oh, stop fighting yourself. You're fine the way you are. Just enjoy, you know what, enjoy your career more. Enjoy every single promo day, every single concert, just make, look around and just, I have so many fond memories and I don't think I enjoy them as much as I do now. I enjoy my life now. Not too long ago, you tweeted about possibly giving a concert in the US. What are the chances that it might actually happen or are there maybe already plans being made? Yeah, we're working on it. We have been working on it for a while. Here's the problem. It's not easy to get a worker's permit for the band. I have to go home. I have a dual citizenship. I have two passports. I have an American one, uh, but it has expired and I need to figure out if I can get a new one because it, it's all about the, where you're working and how, if you're going to be able to do it. It also costs uh, OMD just told me it costs about 30,000 euros just to get the visas and can you imagine so what I have to do uh, people don't understand this it costs me um, 10,000 euros every time I do a concert that's why the tickets are expensive because it actually costs me um, and so understand that we're working on it but it, it is expensive is there something you are afraid of and do you have any strategy to overcome that fear there's a lot of things I'm afraid of. Um, my most most of my fears are that people, for some reason, I just feel like that people won't understand what I'm trying to do. People will find it um, to be uh, more like manipulative or 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 like a PR stunt than it is me. I've been trying to to do this for a while, and I, I'm afraid that people don't understand it. But people seem to start to understand it now, so it's really nice. What do you believe in? I believe in a God that's kind. Uh, I don't call myself a Christian, but I probably am. Um, I believe in, uh, but I don't believe in, 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 in hell and stuff like that. I believe in that my God is kind. Um, I also believe in mess myself. What do you value the most in your friends? Friendships, loyalty. And just like the girlfriend code, so I don't, I don't have to actually tell people when they're crossing my lines. Um, I also really value people who are there for you, even if, you, if you're not able to ask for help. They to just understand that you need company now or something like that. And humor. What do you like to spend your free time on? I like to spend time with my friends, but I do really enjoy being alone. That's where I, I, I get my energy. Some people get energy from other people. I get it alone. Um, I really like working out. Um, and I like good wine and good food with good people. Do you have a favorite place you like to be? I like to be on a tour bus with my band. Uh, I always said that if I ever became such a big star that I had endless amounts of money, the first thing I would buy would be an apartment building where I could fit all my, my all my band and their families in so I could have them close to me all the time. A little while back you wrote that your friends saved your life. Could you elaborate on that? No. 
You receive a lot of gifts from fans. Oh, you mean fans or friends? No, friends was the first. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. And the next is with fans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you receive a lot of gifts from your fans. Do you have a favorite gift and what kind of gifts are your favorite? Something personal. I, I want to tell you something. I, I love getting gifts from fans. It's really nice, but I want you to understand that the best gift you can give me is not things, because I can't always take them with me. Um, when I go, I have you know suitcases full. Um, but but the, what I always take care of are your letters. Even if they're on Facebook, uh, please write me. Um, more than anything, that's what I want. I want you to tell me what my music has done and why you're even uh, listening. It's really, really, it makes me feel like I want to continue to do this. This isn't easy, hasn't seemed to make it onto the album. Is there a particular reason for this? I want to tell you something. <laughs> this is probably just because I'm the person I am. I'm really, really annoyed by people asking me this. Uh, I'm very, very, uh, I understand you love the song, but I did it live and I didn't understand that it became a big thing online and that you listened to it. Uh, there's a reason, yes, and it's my personal reason. When I make an album, I'm, I make an album and it's my album. Uh, that song didn't make it and I will probably, maybe one day release it, but stop asking me, please. <laughs> Do you ever have writer's guilt in the sense that you feel like you should be writing something but you can't for whatever circumstances? Writer's guilt? I don't get the question either. Sorry, Matthias. I'm so sorry, Matthias. I don't understand the question. Me either. <laughs> we move on to the next. But yeah, I'm guilty all the time. I feel like I should be writing music all the time if that's... <laughs> That's a feeling, yeah. Could you imagine, like, the first year I made this record, it was six months where, uh, <laughs> where I didn't write anything. I was going crazy. So yeah, I do have writer's skills, but I don't feel like I, there's something I should write about that I haven't write, written about. I wouldn't release a record if I felt like that. Since you are releasing and promoting your songs internationally, does Sony, or do you have different strategies <laughs> on how to approach these different countries? No, I have, to, I have to tell you, I don't like being where I'm not wanted. And every single time I release a record, a new market opens or closes. Uh, unfortunately, or if, and fortunately, Europe is a very, very diverse place. And so not all music goes in all countries. Uh, I respect that. And I also respect that I make records that I love, but not every time is something a, a hit single. Uh, and I have to keep my artistic integrity intact, and so that happens sometimes. And I'm sorry to Sony that I don't always do that, but when I do, it's very nice of them to invite me. I don't want to knock down doors and be like, please, I want to be a star. I don't want to be a star unless it's like a natural progression. You have a lot of fans, both in Germany and the Netherlands. Can they look forward to concerts and will you be performing in other countries besides Norway? Yes. We are working on a tour in Germany. We're working on a tour and we've already released uh, one or two concerts in Amsterdam and, but, and we're working on a couple more. Uh, we're going to do Norway, of course, and we're going to do England, I think. We're working on England. Um, those are the ones that I know about now. I do know that I love touring and usually my albums live for a very long time. And so I actually will tour uh, all of 2016 or do festivals and s uh, spread out shows. We always never do like a long one. We do like spread out mostly because I'm going to really explain this to you because you're interested. Um, my band have children, so I can't take them away from for very, very long times. So that would be very rude of me for their from their, their wives and their kids. So we try to do like two weeks at a time maximum. And so that makes us really excited because we can go all the way into 2017. We did the three, tr uh, the trio thing. I, 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 tr I, can, I can put up shows whenever I feel like it. When it comes to countries, whoever will pay for the tickets, I will get there. Favorite food, drink. <sighs> Quick, uh, <laughs> favorite food and drink, uh, champagne and um, my dad's cooking. Favorite artist? Alanis Morissette. Favorite song, not your own? Uh, I, I... 
I'm being quiet for way too long. I have no idea. I'm sorry. Too many songs out there. There's just too many songs. Favorite movie? I like mafia movies, so Casino, probably. Favorite book? Uh, Ruby Wax's uh, mindfulness book. I don't remember the title, but you'll love it. The perfect day. Perfect day would be oh, just a normal day with that ends with a concert. <laughs> I would just love to just wake up early, write a song, go to the gym, be with my friends, and then play a concert. A sold out concert. <laughs> Favorite color? The rainbow. Dog or cat? Dog, definitely. Ocean or mountains? Ocean. Summer or winter? Fall. City or countryside? City. Comedy or drama? A little bit of both. Action or thriller? Action. Pants or dress? Pants. Amsterdam or Berlin? Amsterdam. Thank you.